Hello and welcome to Ada Pulse, the Catalyst Funded News Channel is keeping you up to date with everything Cardano. And today we are discussing Iogon, revolutionizing data storage and computing with blockchain. And this is by one of our writers, Block Splain, who's done many articles and you would have seen him on the YouTube channel as well. And it's going to be a much dumbed down version, so do check the full article uh, if you want to deep dive into it. And a link to it will be in the description below. But I'll still be discussing the problem we're facing, the architecture the Agora protocol, and you've got to stay till the end to find out why this could be a real game changer. So do remember to click the like button, hit subscribe, and hit the bell button for the notification, and share far and wide. We want as many people as possible to hear about, you know, the sort of projects we're talking about. Now, with that, I am Josh from ATM Stateful. You present a Freda Pulse for today. Let's just talk Iagon, shall we? Now, in today's world, securely storing and processing large amounts of data is pretty crucial. However, the current system, which is dominated by like a, literally just a few big companies, has flaws like privacy issues, high prices and lack of transparency. So Iagon is a revolutionary solution which is aiming to address these exact challenges. Now, the cloud service market is controlled by just a few sort of major players, which limits competition and discourages innovation. So this concentration of power leads to high prices and makes it difficult for new entrants to compete. Centralized services also become vulnerable to points of failure, causing like widespread disruption and revenue losses during the outages that they may have. Security and privacy are compromised when all data is stored in one place, risking unauthorized access and misuse. So on top of all that, users have limited control over their data as companies like Google and Facebook leverage it without really any explicit content. Iogon offers a decentralized marketplace for storage and computing, empowering individuals and entities to have complete control over their data. Now, Iogon's protocol allows anyone with spare storage to trade resources securely, maintaining data privacy and accessibility standards. So by decentralizing resources, users regain control and eliminate intermediaries. So ensuring data is not exploited like without consent. This revolutionary shift tackles the challenges of centralization and data ownership that have kind of plagued this in industry since it started. The architecture. Now, Iogon's system has different parts that work together to make it function well. So these parts include Adagio, Formato, Rubato, Secure Lake Technology, Sharding, op uh, Common Operations, Cross-Chain Bridge, and Cloud Computing. Now, each component has its own purpose and role within this system to kind of make it work. So we'll go through them now. Now, Adagio is a rewards model for retail storage providers. It connects the storage demand of consumers to the supply from providers, rewarding storage providers when they commit their resources. So this incentivizes more providers to join the network, increasing the available storage capacity. Now, Formato acts as the interface between the storage consumers and the smart contracts deployed on the Cardano blockchain. It allows storage consumers to subscribe to storage as a service and manage their uh, existing subscriptions. This simplifies the process of purchasing storage and makes the system more user friendly. Now, Robato is a storage marketplace that calculates the trading rates of storage, maintains liquidity for reward payments and user incentives, and balances the supply and demand for storage. So this ensures that storage prices remain competitive and fair, and that providers are adequately rewarded for their services. Secure Lake technology is designed to protect the data lake of an organization from various security, privacy, and financial risks. It's based on decentralization, encryption, random clipping masks, ECC encoding, compression, and sharding. So this ensures that even when information systems are breached, the data and files like, cannot be accessed, deleted, or even modified. 
Sharding is a method for horizontally splitting and distributing files across multiple storage providers in a decentralized network. It provides data security and privacy, reduces the risk of data loss, and enables faster download speeds. So this makes the system more resilient and efficient. Now, the cross-chain bridge is essentially the process of moving tokens between two different chains. In the future versions of the protocol, Iogon plans to use a cross-chain bridge to enable payments from other chains. So this will increase the flexibility of the system and allow it to support a wider range of cryptocurrencies. And finally, cloud computing is a future development where Iogon will build a marketplace for computing. So the main goal is to provide cheaper, faster, decentralized and more secure computing services. Underutilized data centers and home users with excess capacity will be able to sell their resources on the marketplace to earn rewards. Compute nodes will be grouped into tiers based on their performance, uptime, availability and trustability. Now, currently, the, the core file storage solution is live and you can start uploading files after you've connected like your wallet to the site. However, Iogon are going to take this a step further with their public storage platform, Agora, which we'll go through now. The Agora Protocol. So the Agora protocol created by Iogon is a system that combines public file management with the Cardano blockchain. So it offers decentralized data storage for individuals and businesses. So Agora has unique features like transparent content visibility, which is curated by the community. Now, Agora uh, allows users to upload, store and organize files in a structured way. It includes community moderation where users can report inappropriate content. Reports are reviewed by a committee, ensuring high quality content. And each file has a discussion board for user comments, promoting sort of community interaction. Users earn rewards in the form of IAG tokens and Agora reputation score points or, or ARS points for actions like uploading content and participating in moderation. So ARS tracks user behavior and high scoring users can join the vetting committee earning additional tokens. To interact with Agora, users just connect their Cardano wallet. Now, uploaded file data, such as status and uploader information, is recorded by the protocol. Now, in the future, Iogon plans to expand Agora into an NFT marketplace, so users can buy and sell content while maintaining some anonymity. Although, you know, it's worth pointing out, optional KYC verification can enhance credibility and protect the seller's reputation. So why could this be a game changer? Decentralization. The Agora Protocol's decentralized nature fundamentally changes the way data is stored and managed. Traditional data storage solutions often rely on centralized servers, which can be vulnerable to attacks, outages and data loss. By distributing data across multiple nodes in a blockchain network, the Agora protocol mitigates these risks. This decentralization also democratizes data storage, allowing anyone to become a storage provider and earn rewards for their services. This could disrupt the traditional data storage in industry, challenging the dominance of major cloud storage providers. There's community governance. The Agora protocol empowers its users by giving them a say in content moderation. So this is a departure from traditional data storage platforms where content moderation decisions are often made unilaterally by the platform's owners. By involving the community in these decisions, the Agora protocol ensures that its policies and practices reflect the needs and values of its users. So this could lead to more inclusive and user-friendly platforms. Incentivization. The Agora Protocol's reward system incentivizes users to contribute to the platform, whether by uploading content, moving files, or participating in content moderation. This could drive user engagement and foster a sense of community on the platform. It could also encourage users to contribute high quality content and act responsibly, knowing that their actions will be rewarded. 
Then we got the potential for NFT marketplace. The Agora's protocol planned evolution into an NFT marketplace could have far reaching implications. For artists and creators, it could provide a new platform for monetizing their work with the potential for greater profits than traditional sales channels. For buyers, it could offer a secure and transparent platform for purchasing digital assets with the assurance that their purchases are recorded on the blockchain. So this could stimulate the digital art market and potentially extend to other forms of digital content. Then we have privacy and security. The Agora Protocol's integration with the Cardano blockchain and optional KYC verification enhanced the user security and privacy of transactions on the platform. Users can transact with confidence, knowing that their data is protected by the blockchain's cryptographic security and that the sellers have been verified. This could make the Agora Protocol an attractive option for users who value privacy and security. And then we have efficient resource utilization. The Agora Protocol's marketplace for computing resources promotes more efficient use of these resources. Underutilized data centers and home users with excess capacity can sell their resources in the marketplace, as I said earlier, turning a potential waste into a source of income. This could lead to cost savings for these providers and for users who can access cheaper resources. It could also have environmental benefits as more efficient use of computing resources reduces energy consumption. So Iagon is revolutionizing data storage and computing using blockchain technology. Their decentralized cloud platform creates a safe and efficient platform for like everyone to access you know, storage and computing resources. And they have innovative products like the Agora protocol, which encourage like community involvement, transparency and, and just positive contributions. Iagon doesn't just follow digital trends, but it's actively shapes the industry's future. They have a smart approach to using resources and are even planning to create an NFT marketplace. So this means they want to make the digital world more fair, decentralized and focused on users. So Iagon's vision is exciting and offers a, a promising future for like a better digital ecosystem. Now, that brings me to the end of the article. Remember, I have summed this up, so do check out the full article online. It's in the description below. But while you're here, remember to click the like button, hit subscribe, and hit that bell button so you can get notified as soon as we've got content available. And do share far and wide because we want as many people as possible to hear about these projects that we're talking about. So anyway, I'm Josh from ATM Stakepool, your presenter for Ada Pulse for today. I'll see you next time. Thank you.